Hello and good morning. We're at a car boot once again. Yes, we are at Gaywood today. And these boys have already been down here and had a look around already. Um, I came down sort of halfway down because I had to sort the dog out um, before we left. Can't leave the little girl cross legged. And um, we're back again because we had to go and get some more money, didn't we, Dave? Yeah. And uh, I had strict instructions by Joseph Murphy to come, to come and record because they haven't recorded anything yet. So I'm chief recorder. So yeah, we're, we're back. Again, it's busy. Heaving again, isn't it, Dave? The boys have been bargain hunting and they've got quite a few nice bargains today, actually. To the point of I'm jealous. Because they've got the, probably they've got, oh, <laughs> hear that tune, guys. That's eight o'clock, which means prune time. <laughs> 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 and it always goes off when we're at the car boot so Dave gets some funny looks because <laughs> it's like an alarm thing but yeah so we just um, when we went to go and get some more money we've actually left Joe here so it'd be interesting to see if he's got any more other bits because we just left him to it he loves it doesn't he it's he's like, a good little root I'll give him that yeah it's his thing at the moment he just yeah, and he gets like like oh yeah he had some good sales didn't he like today yeah. he paid something that he was 20p and he got nine pounds of it on ebay so he's got the eye he's definitely got it but we've got to find him now and see if, if he's got any other bits so let's have a look here we go look told you it's busy we haven't even seen joe yet have we no god knows where he is they don't fancy he's a cuppa. Yeah, oh, I bet we're cuppa. running out of milk, aren't we? We are. <laughs> the Tesco's ain't open yet. I feel like I've got the garden, haven't I? No. Then we're setting up, I can remember that, but I can't remember a row. There you go. Some more. This one's these popular. Got, um, I've got a couple of rolls of red roll tape as well. What, a handle will tear? Hmm. I don't know where it's gone. Somewhere, it. right? Yeah, it's at the bottom. Yeah. I did see the fragile, um, well, not fragile, a handle will tear, which is still fragile, isn't it? So. We just had bargains of tape, <laughs> which is what we needed. So. There you are. I can't see our son anywhere, so I don't know where he's probably out doing the third or fourth round there and him. Well, he's got a couple of bargains, hasn't he? Yeah, he always does. Coming up with you. Right, what's the numbers saying at the bottom? O three, O four, O five. No. All right. Oh. Well, I don't know. Sorry, guys. We just had to do it another tape because my phone literally just went and I it lost what Joe was doing. So now he's got to start all over again. I'll start again. Edit what about? No, adds a bit of humour, Dad. Like. Right. So I'll show you again what we've got. To <laughs> no particular. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I got this Vaco flask uh paid 20p for it uh i quite like it yeah it's got a bit of age to it and all that sort of thing they're quite retro they're quite old um you get your firmus obviously which is a flask but these vaco ones are a bit more sort of hard to come by i think so i was pretty happy with that uh i'll show you these next a pair of adidas gazelles which i was very happy to get these for a quid uh six and a half size there was more gazelles at this car boot. Every time I saw them, someone picked them up before I could get to them, which was quite annoying. But at least I got a pair, which I was pretty pleased with. Yeah, and Joe shows that. They've got a bargain. Got there, got a bloody bargain. I was trying to get them to get charged more. And I got this next, uh, which was 20p. Um, it's a Disney Store mug. Uh, this one, I looked it up when I got in. I only quickly looked it up. But there's like some in green, but there's none in this colour. 
And, it's actually uh, orange, isn't it? Yeah, there's like an orangey one. Obviously, I need to clean it and that. But looking at it, there's no like uh, chips or anything in it. So I think it's quite nice. It's quite a quite an interesting piece. Quite a, quite a rare one for my obviously. And so I was pretty happy to pay twenty p for that. Yeah, it'd be a Disney exclusive. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you the the other bits that I got with this. But I paid fifty p for this and some other pieces. This is a Skyline pair of tongs. Uh, I looked this up a tenner. I think I can get for these, and I only paid uh, probably about like. 15p or something like that for them but uh, Skyline is always a good name to look out for on bits and pieces I've sold a few things with Skyline on but yeah got them um, let me show you oh the, I think these have been the other bits that I've got uh, we'll in a second just talk amongst yourselves dun, dun, dun. Right, so I think these are the other bits so I've got this and this but those are more for me rings Spoon rings. Yeah, Joe makes jewelry. Uh, even that's for. Uh, but I've got this, which is a nut brown. Oh, stiff. Do you love a can. nutcracker? Yeah, a so nut brown nutcracker, which needs cleaning, heavily cleaning. But I've sold one of these before for a tenner, so I thought I'd get it. It's actually bar all the nut in it. It's in actually really <laughs> nice condition. Like, there's it's no rusty or anything like that. So I got them. I got all that. All. <laughs> Still got the nuts in there. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Still uh, got the nuts in it. These two bits for 50p as well. Um, this is a thing that is for your car. Uh, what do we call this then? I think it's a circlip remover. A circlip remover. I picked it up Posh because name. it's quite fancy. Posh name. You know, that they might not be worth loads, but I thought, like, you know, a unique thing that someone might need. And it's got two, two lots of two. Two lots of two on it. Oh, yes, two lots of two on it. There you go. So I've got that. Well, I'll name it there. And one of these old rulers. Now, I keep seeing these old wooden rulers, but they always have, like, they're always, like, rotted or horrible. But this one didn't seem too bad. Like, obviously, it's got a little bit of sink here and there, but it's old, isn't it? So, you know, it's used, like, isn't it? Yeah, it's used, it's old, shows its age, but... Quite like it, and, and uh, not at first glance, but sometimes you find them, don't you? But anyway, I'll, I'll show you this next this next item that I've got. Uh, well, I'll show you this. Fifty p I paid for this. It's a marples. Record hand tools. I paid fifty p. Dad's for this. a bit gutty about this Dad's one. Dad's pretty jealous about this one, so. Yeah. But that makes up for the ones that oh. Dad's got in it. And just shows you where he's going. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's quite nice on the inside. The bloke was like, "Oh, sorry, mate. There's nothing in there." I was like, oh, "What would you want for an empty box?" And he's like, fifty p." I was like, "Oh, I love that. That's fifty p." Um, I think like twenty pound, fifteen pound. All, all prices, good prices for something they only paid fifty p for. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice little wooden storage thing for your marbles, woodworking tools. Got this as well. I paid a pound for this, which is an old cigar box. Um, I looked this up as well when I got in, and again, I only quickly looked up. But I hardly couldn't find anything really like it, at least not in this country. But it's nice. I've sold some cigar boxes before. This one's quite a fancy-ish one. I just checked. It's still recording, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. mate. Five I'll, minutes I'll, in. I'll just check. I'm still doing it now. Got these shoes as well that need to clean, but that's, that's fine. Um, they don't actually look to be too worn, to be honest. This one's still got a sticker in it. But uh, Pumas for £2. They're my size, Joe. Well, don't really think that concerns you. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Okay, I keep uh, trying, guys. Five and a half, I think. Oh. These are five and a half, these. Uh, but yeah, Pumas, you know, they're nice. Obviously, clean them up. Uh, they're in good little... neck. Yeah, but but yeah, but are the actual like, stains on them? They're in nice condition. But yeah, got them. Um, then only a few more bits now. I've got these three bits for a quid. i got this Branham thermostat thing. Yeah. Which I think Branham's, in, Branham's the name I've seen before. I've got this little uh, bolt sculpture thing of a mouse or, or a rat. I think it's a mouse. Because I keep seeing bolt sculpture stuff on eBay. You got one always, upstairs. Yeah, I got one well, upstairs. Yeah. I've got one, uh, and it all seems to be good money. And this is sort of a unique looking, strange one that don't take up too much room. So I thought, you know, I love that. And then I got this as well because you see, you see all this stuff on here, but it's actually got a, a toe of something on it. I don't know whether it's a 
crocodile or a lizard or something, but you know, a strange little toad lizard. Thing. Um, I thought that's got to be something, can it? Surely someone might want a toe. And then the last <laughs> bit that I'll show you. Instead yeah. of a rabbit's foot, you get a yeah, toe. You think turtles are good feet? It needs its nails trimmed. But I got this tobacco tin, this thing for me rings, and then this camera that I'll have to have a look at because it's quite strange and I ain't really seen a camera like this before. But I paid a quid for those three bits, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy. This thing looks like it's in nice condition. So it's got cobweb on it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Cobweb on. But yeah, it's a it's an interesting looking one. It shoots on something a bit different on a disc or something. It's saying Kodak Disc Forty. Or four thousand. Quite squarish kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. I was, I was pretty happy with me, me stuff there. Um, I didn't play pay loads and loads out for me stuff. It's got to remember now to write it all down. Yeah, got to write it all down now in a sec. Keep tabs on everything. Yeah, that's all your stuff in there. And, My slippers. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy with that. Got some got some good bits. I think the favourite thing is probably either this. Marples or maybe even the skyline or something like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, but the thing it was a good car boot today. A lot of people were there, and uh, yeah, that, that's my part of the video. Uh, I think Dad will have a haul next. So uh, thanks for watching my bit, and uh, I'll see you later. Hello guys, just having a crafty cover. We uh, we've been around the car boot this morning. We had a bit of a flying visit, didn't we, John? We didn't get much. No. Although, to be honest, it felt more when we were around there, but... It always does, though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It is what it is. Got this, uh... Well, I've got a couple of scythes, sickles, whatever you want to call them, for the garden. This is more like a... collectible type one. Got a name on. Can't quite make it out. No, we need a magnifying glass to look at it. Um, I haven't rubbed them down or anything yet. None of these yet. But that was a pound, that one. 50p, that one. Uh, Brick Lane trail, trowel. Nice wide one. That was a pound. It's a thick one, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice and... Nice and oh, this needs rubbing down, but it's nice and clean. Nice clean metal. This one, this needs a good clean. Or a belt with a hammer, something. Do quite well with them. That was only 50p. <laughs> then most of this was actually. <laughs> Little thimble rack. They sell well as well. We always sell them, don't we? Mm. That was 50p. And I've got four of these tins. <laughs> um, 10p each. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Lots of work can happen to them. Then I've got this old drill. A man assured me it worked, but it didn't when I got it on. So mind you, I've got to yeah. got to check the fuse on it and that give them. Yeah. If not, if someone's fair, tried okay. with this because that's what that's been cleaned that, so dunno, might have just got knocked about. Uh, this is off the same man. Little copper kettle, teapot. No, kettle. He had two of them, didn't he? Yeah, that was the drill with a fiver. That was two fifty. That was the best one out of the that two was the that best he had. One out of the, pair. the other one was scratched to the lines. You got these little things. Yeah, you like them, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. The bloke, we've got these. They had loads of cheap stuff, didn't they? Mm. Twenty p's, fifty p's. They've got a name. What are they doing? Vases, but like. Probably for like a rose or something. Mm. They're by Clark, Cox and Cox, it says on there. Is that right, Dad? Is that what yeah, they're called? Yeah, Cox yeah, and yeah. Cox. They're it's really, uh, really light. Like, really light. But Dad's researched these already, haven't you? Oh, sorry. Forgot to show you. Yeah. They're all different colours, they're not all the same colour anymore, are they? No. Some no. Of... I don't know. I'll have to have a look. I thought there was a belt. They're selling for about £12 for the box. Yeah, which is good. And I got them for 50p, so. Yeah, they were really good for their stuff. Um, I've done that. It's the same people you bought from last week as well, weren't it? 
Now, type yeah. brown type. They was in heaven here. <laughs> Lady was selling these 60p each, and they're good thick ones. And uh, I said to her, would you take five pound for the for the 12? And, well, after a while, she agreed with me, didn't she? We had them for five pound, didn't we? She's the same lady as well that Dave bought these from. I think yeah. he lo she liked him. Yeah, well. Because yeah. Joe goes up later on to buy something, and it was more expensive. And now he wished he said, I'm that boy's son. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, gobsmacked. These are good wide ones as well. Look. Yeah. They was um, 80p each or two for 150, so I didn't. So we had two of them. That was quite handy. Then, got one of these little powder compacts. Powder compacts. That's how it's got the powder still in there. Yeah. That lifts up. Oh, does it? Yeah, you pull that thing there back and then it should flip up they are, you got it, it you got no you've done it you just did it okay. well it flips back up i know because i yeah I know. oh there you are. yeah it has that's still got a bit of powder in there yeah <laughs> i didn't know that <laughs> so yeah it's got like a cross it's probably that thing we'll sort that out I better leave that before I break yeah. it. It's got like a uh, tapestry on top of it. Now these two come together. That's sort of put the good drawers. Make one out of the two. Because there's a lot of broken drawers in there. I think I've got four good drawers left. We pick these up, don't we? But there's a drawer missing or one yeah. broken. So they'll come in handy for that. Yeah. Only get 50p for them. So... That should make a few shillings. Yeah. And a screw to And a screw to prove it, look. Yeah. Then we got these old fashioned uh weighing scales. <laughs> They're not gonna work. I guess. No. Don't quite know how you're gonna work. You don't see to make there, and they must have marks on how much they weigh. I think it says six pounds on there or something. Or something. It's got. A, oh, 1938, look. What was that oh, when it was made? Yeah. 1938. God, that's old then. There's some writing on there. That's about eight it. years it's old then. And, uh, that's sticking in my finger. Oh, 56 pounds. Yeah, wow. 56 pounds. <laughs> it's pounds. That's only 50 pounds out. And we got the compulsory toolbox. Him and his friend. Yeah. He emptied it out knowing that Dad wanted it. <laughs> we're just swearing at me, weren't he? He was, weren't he? Called you an old bugger and everything, I think. He was doing it the other week, wasn't he? Yeah. He reckoned some woman had a go at him, told him to stop talking to people like that. And don't forget this one. Oh, yeah. Gotta show you that one. It's a little tiny. How much did you pay for that? Uh, two pounds. And two then pounds. I had one of them tickles with it. Repooned. Repooned. This has got a. Never seen this before. It's got a little rabbit on it or a hair. Oh, yeah, I see it. And it's F8 Aiken. Yeah. Um. There's none sold on their own, but some people want a lot of money for them. But it's just interesting to get something with a different name on. And that is pretty much that, isn't it, Don? Yeah. Oh, and a torch, you know, I never really. Yeah, we, we don't an know. An old fashioned blue and white, ever ready battery torch. And that was 50p as well, wasn't it? That was, yeah, that's the other thing I got off that lady, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's all we got, but. When we was walking around there, I thought we got loads of stuff, but never mind. Yeah, it did feel like we had lots, but I think perhaps we didn't. I don't know. It did feel like we had a fair Yeah, bit. still, the most important thing is Joe got a load of stuff, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, Joe. Blimey now. He's got good eyes, isn't he, for things. And he's already put some of it on today. 
So he's already got it straight yeah, on. Keen as mustard as well. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got he's got a good eye. We we keep saying this now. We sound like very proud parents, don't we? We do, yeah. <laughs> but we know how important it is for him to succeed at it and he's yeah. he's learning and listening. He's watching YouTube videos, he watches us. I mean, we've done it most of his life, haven't we? We sell him. All of his life. Yeah. So he's he knows but it continuously surprises us because he finds stuff that we didn't know about. So it's like we're learning from him as well as he's learning from us, isn't it? So I remember, um, I've said it before, but I remember when he was a little tiny dot with a, like a nappy thing on him. And uh, so when we do the car boot, we used to do car boots then, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we used to have a blue, an old blue transit. Yeah. Well, it was a dog rough thing, but it kept going, didn't it? Yeah, loved her. And uh, he used to get in there, he used to take all his clothes off except for his nappy, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, he used cool to sit in between famous. us on the, in, the trans, in the front of the transit and put his feet in the ashtray, didn't yeah. he? He used yeah. to pull the ashtray out, because we didn't use it as an ashtray. And he would put his little feet in the ashtray and sit yeah. up with his feet up, yeah. and he loved it, didn't he? He hated clothes, didn't he? Yeah, hated it. Hated clothes, full stop. And he loved the early mornings as well. He was mm. bright as a button at four o'clock in the morning. Now he's oh, he still love going doing that. And he still loves getting up early in the morning. Mm. Uh, he's not having we're not having any troubles with him getting up in the morning for a car beating and that. He's up. the one up before. Well, we were up anyway, but he's he's like he's shouting to me morning at ten to five this morning. Yeah, and then no, like, did. not to the morning. It was like you know, we were ready to go yet. <laughs> yeah, because he said I was. Li I was listening. Where well, I know he was up because he said I was listening to you two at four o'clock in this morning, chatting. We're bloody hopeless when we're going out, aren't we? Yeah, three yeah. o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then they fuck us you for the rest of the win the balls or something. <laughs> but yeah, we've had, uh, he's just getting up and had him. We went cherry shopping yesterday. He enjoyed that. But it's not our thing, the charity shops. It's more auctions and car boots, I think, because you do get more of a bargain than charity shops. But we did do the 10 for a pound, so yeah. that weren't too bad. We, we quite like the uh, yard trails as well, don't we? Though? Yeah, and there's going to be a few yard trails. Um, I think we've got one not, uh, not next week. Oh, yeah, there is one next week. Yeah, yeah. And there's one a week after. Yeah, like I always say before, we have got a page dedicated for anything like auctions. Yard sales, da da da. It's Kingsley and surrounding areas. Um, if you live near here, you can check on that. Yeah. And, you, yeah. There's one at Pot Row, and there's another one at. Yeah, there's Wallington. Wellington. Oh, yeah, Wallington's doing one in June. June the 13th, the day after my birthday. What's, what's that other place? Don't we've ever been there? Swanton. Morley or something, Swanton. I've never heard of it. Matters, Sounds anyway. like swans. Like yeah, swans yeah, should yeah, be there. And... I've seen the other side boat, but I can't remember ever going there. Perhaps we'll have to try in that one. Yeah, it's only got 20 houses, but I expect they're all good houses. Yeah, I would have thought so. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Swanton. That sounds posh, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> We do like the trails. I mean, it is um, tiring finding each one. But when we find them, it is interesting to see. God, yeah. And we have made money on them as well because people knock it out even cheaper because they ain't really got to pay. It's all from their house kind of thing. Well, so. We're doing really well. Not yeah. It looks like it here, but we're getting some right bargains on the... Yeah. Car boots. Yeah. Yeah. Better, better than other years, I remember, somehow, wasn't I? And the one we're going to at the moment... Is the best one to be going to mm. right now because everyone but everyone's going to that one. There is going to be another one opening next week, I think. Oh, no, it was this weekend, isn't it? Narborough. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, but... But that one's not as good as... It's not sort of a... It's more of a like a... Uh, what would you call it? Like a antiques veteran? Yeah, like a, yeah. Yeah. I think personally... The majority of the stalls are sort of like dealers, isn't they? If yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. Like, or if not... We like when people are just clearing the bedrooms out and that, don't we? Like yeah, them. since they've closed down the other one, it, this one has been extremely good because everyone wants to a car boot near them, mm. and that's the night clearest one, uh, clearest the closest one to us. So everyone, but everyone's like been doing their car boots there, and they're still arriving past nine o'clock, weren't mm. they? Oh god, yeah. So it's like we get there for half six. 
but we're still there gone nine o'clock because you need to get round the ones that have just turned up as well and we're still finding bargains because joe got some at one of the stores that just turned up kind of thing so you do need to keep yeah going around and having a look so yeah we're gonna have to drag him out by the ankles this morning aren't we? yeah we were like we had to go and get some more money and left him there and he went round then we came back and i walked around with him again and then I thought, oh, I need to, I need to go back to you. And um, he's, he's still out and about. He was like, we'll, we'll give him a few more minutes. But he did come back and he said, oh, no, I mean, no, I'm saying it. We could have just left him there because he can yeah. walk over the bridge, can he, like, you know? Yeah, because we literally only live five minutes yeah. away, walk from it. So it's not like a bad thing. I walked there this morning because I sorted Edie out um, before we went because she needed to be sorted out. And I said to the boys, you keep, you know, you go on. And then you get the, you get on, and then I can sort Edie out, and then we ain't got to rush Edie then. She don't like being rushed, does she, Dave? No, no. <laughs> the old girl now, bless her, she don't like being rushed. But yeah, so it's not too bad. It's like literally five minute walk, so that's what's handy about it. Me and Joe did go to a car boot slash charity shop yesterday, but that wasn't very good. There was two car booty people. One and then one selling like smelly stuff, and then the charity shop had their store, which was they had clothing for for a pound, but it was like it weren't too bad. I put I, I got some stuff for myself, and hey, I can't be old, man. Eh? Yeah, I mean, I've done the ladies' clothes cheaper, didn't yeah, I? yeah. Well, originally it was three for a pound, that's what they said on their yeah. website, but when we got there, it was four for a pound. Well, you can't go wrong with that, can you? No, Bloody, you'd used for dusters, couldn't you? Four yeah, for a pound. yeah, and for me, it's good because. I, I don't like to boast, but I have been losing weight, so <laughs> and I need new clothing, and I can't be bothered to be paying out lots of money for new clothing when you're losing weight. So it was handy for all, everyone, because Joe got a few bits as well, didn't he? Some reselling bits. So he was happy. So, yeah. Yeah, he got a few bits from Bob. I think he's done a video, hasn't he? Uh, yeah, we've got that as well. We've got two. So watch out, we've got two coming now. One from <laughs> yesterday from our charity shopping. So that might be up first. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put up first. And then today's car booting one. Mm. And then we've got... There's this auction next Friday, isn't there, Snetty? I don't know. I haven't looked on there. Have you? No, I'm losing the plot with them a bit lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's but, getting so... I mean, good luck to them. But since they've gone on the internet, they're sort of... A, they're a bit of a... Prices are ridiculous, aren't they? They're a bit of a success story, aren't they, really? Their yeah. prices are ridiculous, aren't they? Yeah. But we have said that we're going to try and get up to the recycling centre once a week. It's another thing that's opened up for us, isn't it? Yeah, because like we didn't... Yeah. The auctions have closed down, really. Yeah. Because of the prices. I yeah. mean, I made a little list. Then I? What I fancied, the lots I liked. What we were <laughs> say. You know, before the lockdown for three pounds, and I thought, well, I know it's going up, so I put six pounds. Really pushed the boat out. Forty-two pounds it went for, didn't it? It's just like what we couldn't couldn't get it for that. You know, you couldn't resell it. For Let's that. just say Dave was crossing it out before it even got anywhere else. <laughs> and I thought, well, I didn't even watch it, did I? I watched it till no. dinner time and then turned it off. Yeah, it was just silly. But, I mean, good luck to them as a company. But I don't know what people will do because you can't really make much more money if you resell it. So perhaps it's um, for their own, I don't know. Not unless they're hitting all the... Because, I mean, they've been doing it for centuries, haven't they, like, you know? Yeah. They know all the people who collect what. I suspect they just drop them a line, don't they, and say... Yeah, and they're getting a lot of international... Yeah, it's going all over the world, isn't it? So yeah, so because like they they're doing Spain, yeah. Germany, I don't mind which they never used to. Anybody should see them make money. Good luck to them. Yeah. Like, I mean they've had some lean time. Yeah, yeah. So so we're just resourcing from elsewhere now, but we still look at it because sometimes oh, you grab yeah. one or two. I mean, I mean Joe did, didn't he? he grabbed uh, kitchenware stuff and that for a fiver. I mean, don't get me wrong, we did buy a few bits, um, but some boxes, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Didn't never looked at them or nothing. No, but just because they were so cheap, and there's a load of old-fashioned tools in the bottom. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, really pleased with them. Yeah. So, I so mean, just shows you, we'll it? make some money. It's yeah, just, you can't sort of 
<laughs> you don't seem to be able to buy what you want, what you wanted in the first place. But there you are. No, I think we might be waffling here. But a bit it's on. exploring, isn't it? And we're learning, and we we seem to be getting other different stuff as well, yeah. which is selling quite well at the moment. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, we got like so we got the yard trails coming up, like well, like everyone else, but. I mean, we can start doing that, shouldn't we? And, yeah, uh, we like them, don't we? We seem to be doing well at the car boots. Mm, we are, yeah. And so, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Like, you know? Yeah, I think stick with what we, we know at the moment. Yeah. So you can buy in the um, recycle centres now? Yeah, we went to the other one as well, don't we, Kings Lane, but we didn't see anything in that no. one. Um but it was nice to see the people there because yeah. Dave used to work with a lot of them, so it was nice to see them and sort of say got hi. A bit market on the shelf, didn't they? Like, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a little bit upmarket, wasn't it? But that was nice to see the people that we haven't seen for like over a year. So I know um, right, they appreciate it. So we'll say Go on. Now. Yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye now because she's going to start waffling again in a minute. No, I'm not. <laughs> All right, see you later, guys. See you. Bye. Bye. bye.